Welcome back to Weather Nation. We're following rain now moving into places like Miami, Florida today. And we're talking about a lot of rain across South Florida over the next few days. So keep the umbrellas handy. Make sure you have a place to stay inside because this wet weather will be out there and it means wet plans for Mother's Day. But thanks again for tuning in. I'm meteorologist Marcus Walter here with the forecast. I hope you are enjoying your Saturday. The weekend just got started, so hopefully you can get outside even with the rain and enjoy the weather. But let's talk about the setup because we have an area of low pressure, uh, generally speaking, across the Gulf of Mexico. At the same time, we'll have high pressure across parts of the Atlantic and right there in the middle is moisture and it will be pumping toward parts of Florida and parts of the south and east. So that will set the stage for a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. At the surface, we'll have a trough of low pressure also moving in and this trough will serve as a lifting mechanism to get that moisture rising up in the atmosphere to produce clouds and then eventually to produce rain. And some of those showers will be very heavy. And so we're watching this trough as it moves inland and as it lingers across our region and you'll notice Orlando, Tampa, Port St. Lucie over the next day to next few days. We're dealing with repeated showers moving across our regions. On top of that, we'll deal with the surface area of low pressure developing and that will help enhance any rain that's moving across Florida. And also that low pressure system will linger across our region, adding more rain and more energy to parts of Florida bringing us more wet weather. And as we look at the rain totals that are potentially on the way, widespread two to four inches of rain expected, but isolated amounts could pick up anywhere from three to six inches of rain. So wet weather, a big theme of this holiday weekend for a lot of folks in Florida. Now we do need the rain. Take a look at the latest drought monitor. It shows that we have uh, moderate drought and even severe drought in places across parts of South Florida. So this moisture will be very useful in terms of finding the drought that's been taking shape. And also it'll help add rain where we have deficits so far this year. Take a look at Miami through the year. We're down four inches of rain, so this moisture will definitely come in handy. And as we look toward Fort Myers, a similar story, we are dealing with well below average rainfall by this date for the year. So the rain that could potentially measure anywhere from two to four inches or isolated amounts higher than that, that will definitely benefit the Fort Myers area. But now let's take you a little farther to the north where they're dealing with the threat for rain and storms. And we're talking about you, Philadelphia. Storm chances are out there as we have a series of storms continuing, or at least a series of weather systems continuing to sweep across your region and bringing more wet weather, more clouds, and more just wet and soggy conditions. Now we're taking a look at the map, the national map, just to point out that we'll have rain and storm chances anywhere from Iowa all the way toward the north and the east. So if you're anywhere from Omaha to Philly, you're dealing with those storm chances. And later today, some of those storms could really turn severe across parts of the mid Atlantic. As we head past the afternoon during the overnight, we'll see the rain showers still out there, but the storm threat, the severe threat, especially dropping off overnight, but it'll build right back in as we head throughout the day on Sunday. So it does mean storm chances out there anywhere from western Texas into parts of Oklahoma and Kansas, but also all the way over to parts of the mid Atlantic once again. So you see that path? That's pretty much the path of the jet stream and that's where the storms will be traveling over the next few days. And we're also talking about heavy rain continuing across parts of Florida. Now we'll put this map into motion just to show you that storm chances are out there once again for Monday, uh, but then two Tuesday, we start to see that break down just a bit as temperatures really start to rise across the entire eastern United States, but we still have rain showers out there. So let's talk about temperatures today. Chicago, you'll be chilly in the mid 50s, but just a few hours south and west St. Louis, you'll be in the low 90s. It'll be pretty warm for you, and we're talking about 100s on the way across parts of Texas and also into parts of western Oklahoma, even eastern New Mexico. Sunday, Mother's Day, we're dealing with the heat out there, not only across the south, but stretching into the south and east. We could potentially see record highs for places like Atlanta and Charlotte and even Athens, Georgia. And as we continue into Monday, we're talking about the storm threat being out there, or at least the warm weather threat <laughs> being out there as we head throughout the next couple of days. So warm weather will be a theme. We'll go west to east. L.A., you're looking dry, but you're looking beautiful. Temperatures right around 70 degrees. Denver, after some limited rain today, you'll be warming up but more rain chances on the way from Monday and Wednesday. Houston, it'll be hot and steamy and sticky there. And as we leave you with a quick look at Chicago, hey, we're talking about rain and warmth later this week. One on one, some of the records we saw yesterday, we'll be telling you more about this uh, throughout the day. Make sure to visit our website, weathernationtv.com.